Hey guys, Bad Shoemaker, Shoemaker Guitar Works. New day, new week. I'm uh, gonna, gonna do a little uh, clean up and tune up on this Ibanez Micro. Uh, customer brought it in, he bought it for his uh, kid, and it hasn't had strings on it in a long time. So it's probably gonna need some adjustment and some, uh, some setup work. So I'm gonna start you with uh, do, just doing some basic maintenance here. Uh, first thing I'll do is clean up the uh, fretboard. It's got some finger cheese and stuff on it and uh, then I'll oil it up and then we will throw strings on. I've already tested the pick pickups and they work. It's got some fret sprout so I might have to use my uh, fret files on the end of it. We'll see how it is after I get uh, put some moisture into the fret. What I like to do is just take a flat razor blade and scrape across the fretboard. You're not looking to scallop it. You're just looking to take that top layer of finger goo off of there. This will also help it accept fretboard oil. And just hold that razor blade nice and flat going across there. And just move it back and forth with moderate pressure. And it just acts like a scraper. hit the frets don't worry about it you can always they're usually harder than the razor blade itself so usually these are good little guitars I've had several of them in and out of the shop sold a few of them uh, they're three-quarter size but they're big enough that an adult can play them too, so they actually make a really good travel size guitar. Uh, they have, usually have uh, either a humbucker and two singles, or two humbuckers in them. And they usually have pretty good tone to them. They usually sound pretty darn good. Two more to go. Let's switch hands. All right. Blow that stuff off of there. Put a little uh, snake oil on there. If I can get it open. Pick a corner of the rag, work that in, and let that sit and soak in for a little while, and I'll bring you back when it's ready. Alright, so something else I like to do is when guitars have sat for a while I like to take a brush and just kinda get as much of that dusty stuff off of here as you can. It makes it uh, just a little cleaner. 
You can get it wet if you need to. I'm using the dry brush method just to try and get the dust off of there because it's not that bad. But, that'll clean that stuff out of there. And the same up here on the headstock. Get in between the tuners where it's hard to get to with a rag. And just get all of that dust off of there. It's sat long enough with the oil on it. So now, I'm going to take my rag here and wipe it off frets are fairly clean on this so I'm not going to worry about cleaning them up it's going to have a child playing it so you know it's going to get dirty and we all know how our children are clean her up just a little bit I'll wipe all the fingerprints and spots off of it and I'm gonna set this up with tens we'll put some Diodario XL tens on there when he brought it to me uh, two of these ferrules were just loose and out of it so I uh, went ahead and glued those ferrules back in just a little drop of glue and they fit well alright so next step I'll bring you back and we will throw some strings on it. Alright we're on the last string here I buy these in bulk because it's the best way for me to get them and then if somebody wants a set I can make a set out of the bulk but oh we got a string still attached here did not realize that should have paid more attention huh oh well first day back after a long weekend Had to finish up my shed and rebuild my fence. All stuff that I've been lacking on doing all summer long. Go to the 12th or 13th and stretch your string until it stays in tune. Can't stress that enough. And don't slap the string, don't let it slap the fretboard, especially if it's one of the wound strings. You can break the internal casing or internal windings of the string. Now let's see how we look here actually fairly straight I'm gonna tighten it up about a quarter turn pretty good I think I got to do a little intonation set to it but uh, it's actually not bad you just need to stretch the strings out just a little bit more but anyway just I uh, thought I'd show you a little basic maintenance on a guitar that sat for a little while uh, with no strings 
like I say, I thought I'd have to do a little bit more to the neck, but uh, these got pretty good necks on them, so they're fairly straight. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and like button and hit the subscribe also. 200 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. I'm at 130-something right now, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button.